it's my great pleasure to welcome you all to the University of Manchester and the splendid surroundings of the Whitworth Hall for this graduation ceremony. I would first likely, uh, like to acknowledge the industrial action taking place outside today, which you may, be, may have seen on your way into the ceremony. We recognize and respect the right of colleagues to take this action, and we apologize for any disruption this action may cause you today, and sincerely hope it does not impact the enjoyment of your day. Now to our celebrations today. The graduation weeks are the most important events in the university's calendar. It is, of course, the time when we celebrate and recognize formally the magnificent achievements and the hard work of our graduates, achievements all the more remarkable given the last two years we have had. Importantly, the graduation weeks are also the time when we have the pleasure of hosting the families and friends of our graduates. Especially warm welcome to you all and also to the families and friends who are watching this ceremony on the live webcast. We are absolutely delighted you're here today and we hope you enjoy our hospitality and have a wonderful day of celebrations. I want to thank you on behalf of the university for the help, encouragement and support you've given our graduates, which we know has been important in the success which we are celebrating here today. I'm sure our graduates will also wish to acknowledge this here today. So graduates, please stand up and face your families and friends and join me and my colleagues in showing our appreciation of the support they've given you through your time here. Like all of us, you can be extremely proud of what our graduates have achieved. Those of you who are graduating today, when you decided to study at this university, you chose to make a major investment in your future. During the course of your studies, you will have gained skills and knowledge to help you find success in future years. Although you may be glad to see the back of assignments for now, the planning, research and writing skills you deployed and nurtured will be of great value in the world of work or perhaps even during further study. The way you've balanced commitment to academic life with other interests and also the many competing distractions this wonderful city offers will help you find a work-life balance as your career and your future unfolds. And of course, we must not forget the strong supportive friendships and relationships you have forged here, which I hope will sustain for many years to come. Put simply, your achievements in completing your degree cannot be overestimated for its value and the strong platform it gives you to build your career and achieve your goals. The university you're graduating from is already one of the finest universities in the world. Our ambition is to lift Manchester up even further. At the very core of this vision is a major investment in the best people, in new buildings and facilities, coupled with the commitment to the highest standards in research and scholarship as demonstrated by the graduates here in the hall today. That this vision is realistic and attainable has been amply demonstrated in many recent major achievements, award of Nobel Prizes to our scientists, award of Regius Chairs, number of Queen's Awards, and significant major grants for new projects and development of new facilities. I could go on, but we at Manchester also realize that it's important for us to play a wider role in our communities, both nationally and globally. It is important that we not only ask ourselves what are we good at, but what are we good for. Our ambition is to make the University of Manchester a force for the good by bringing knowledge to bear on the great issues facing our local communities and our region and our world in the 21st century and by producing graduates that are prepared to exercise social leadership and environmental responsibility. And finally, by making sure we run our operations in a way that adds social value and is environmentally responsible. That's why we are the only UK university to have made social responsibility as a core goal of the university, along with teaching and learning and research. So this is not just about fine words, but real purpose and ambition. As recognized in a prestigious international ranking recently, the Univers University of Manchester was ranked 
as the best higher education institution in the world for its social and environmental impact across its full range of functions. Let me give you examples of what we do beyond teaching and research. Over 5,000 of our students volunteer annually to assist our local communities here in Manchester. Over 1,000 of our staff and alumni are volunteer school governors using their knowledge and expertise to help children in those schools. Our initiative has resulted in the fastest growth in number of volunteer school governors and won the Queen's Award for volunteering. Our equity and merit scholarships, funded partly by our alumni, allow academically able but economically disadvantaged students from some of the world's poorest countries to study at Manchester without any cost to them. This program has helped over 150 students from Uganda, Rwanda and Bangladesh to study here. And finally, our Manchester Work Scheme every year helps nearly 400 unemployed people from our local communities to gain vital experience and skills and get into employment. This university is more than just about buildings and facilities, and it is all, also more than just a roll call of fine ambitions and achievements. It is our students and our staff, our people, who make this place spe so special. Each and every one of you, in your own way, has enriched, shaped, and molded this university to the tremendous benefit of those who will follow in your footsteps. So today is just as much about honoring you for this valuable contribution as it is for your success in academic studies. Obtaining your degree is a hugely important milestone and you should celebrate your success. But you should realize that this is not the end of your association with the university. You are part of the family that is this university. Our doors will always be open to you this will always be your university. The Alumni Association will help you remain in touch with the university and importantly link you with a community of more than half a million Manchester graduates living and working across the globe. As alumni, you can help the university and future students in many ways. You are, of course, our best ambassadors. You can help future students with placement and employment. And importantly, you can play a direct role in the development of the university which is vital to its future. I'd like to finish by saying that my colleagues and I consider it a great honor to be involved in the education of people of all generations and from all parts of the world. Thank you for giving us the privilege of playing an important part in your uh, education. On behalf of the university, I congratulate all of you who are graduating here today on your excellent academic achievement and I wish you every success in your future careers. Leave here today with justified pride in what you've achieved. Be a credit to yourselves, to your families and friends, to the communities in which you live and serve, to your chosen professions, and to your university. Be always guided by the values enshrined in our university's motto, knowledge, wisdom, humanity. Thank you. I now invite uh, Professor Papa Dimitriou to address the ceremony. Hello, uh, my name is uh, Professor Dimitris Papa Dimitriou. I am the uh, Director of Social Responsibility for the School of Social Sciences. And on behalf of all of my colleagues in the school, I would like to offer my congratulations to uh, all of our graduates today. Today and tomorrow, we are celebrating the successes of our students who have completed a range of undergraduate and postgraduate uh, courses uh, in all the social sciences provided by our departments of criminology, economics, law, philosophy, politics, social anthropology, social statistics, and sociology. These include uh, taught programs leading to the award of undergraduate or master's degrees, uh, research programs uh, leading to the award of an MPhil, and longer term uh, doctoral studies culminating to the award of a PhD. The fact that you graduates uh, are here at the University of Manchester today to celebrate your graduation is a testament to your academic abilities, to your research skills, 
and to your ability to process complex problems and apply expert techniques in their resolution. But more than that, more than that, the fact that you are here today following two years of COVID is a testament to your resilience and your uh, strength of uh, character. Surviving the last two years with our mental and physical health intact has been an achievement for uh, all of us. But for you to do so uh, uh, while you're completing a degree is indeed a major landmark. It's a major landmark in your lives and in the lives of those who love you and uh, care for you. To recognize this, I would like to ask the families, the friends and the invitees of the graduates, along with my colleagues who stand here, to uh, um, raise and uh, give a, a loud applause uh, to our graduates. So, what have our graduate, graduates gained in their studies within uh, the social sciences here at the University of Manchester? What was the point of all of their hard work? The social sciences help us to understand and analyze action and interaction at all different levels of society, from individuals to households, from families to communities, from regions to national institutions and governments to global networks. The major contribution, indeed the need for social sciences, is to investigate and unpack the world we inhabit, to explain it and inform public debate about the key problems we are facing and the problems we are all confronting, and yes, perhaps also to be able to offer some answers to these very difficult problems. Take, for example, the UK and some of the key challenges we are all currently facing, how they affect our everyday lives and the future of our kids and our grandchildren. These challenges include the ongoing implications of COVID, of Brexit, the future of the UK and its constituent nations, the much discussed leveling up agenda. How is this all going to affect the near and distant future? How will our world beyond our immediate borders is likely to look like in five, 10 or 20 years? How will relations between the worlds existing and emerging superpowers are going to pan out? Is the recent invasion of Ukraine by Russia uh, um, the shape of things to come? Or are we likely to see greater tolerance and accommodation emerging in our world? How will all this shape our everyday lives, our communities, our regions, our nation and our societies? These are issues that uh, uh, we uh, see saturating the news nearly every day of the week. More broadly, issues relating to power, sovereignty and control lie at the heart of conflict and debate between states both in Europe and all around the world. These relationships must reconcile issues of migration, economic uh, performance, the pace of social change, both here at home and globally. And whilst we deal with that, add intergenerational justice and the, relevant, the, re the relative claims of equality and rights for younger and older generations. Add gender and sexuality, race and ethnicity, religious beliefs too. Patterns of political passion, apathy and polarization, online security and risk, confidentiality and the rise of social media, 
and of course, last but evidently not least, climate change. It is issues like that that define the core aim of our school, to develop and support our students to become revered graduates of the University of Manchester that have both the opportunity and the ambition to make the world a better place. To support this vision, our students benefit from state-of-the-art teaching and up-to-date knowledge that is informed by cutting-edge uh, research that directly um, uh, addresses this varied and demanding landscape and thereby ensures that our social scientists that are graduating uh, today will always have a rich canvas of opportunity ahead of them. Will start Manchester or anywhere else in the field, our students will have developed a range of intellectual and research skills from high-level quantitative analysis of international data sets to in-depth ethnographies of particular peoples and places examining some of the most pressing issues of today. Many of our students will return back to their homes to become leaders in research, in teaching and learning, in policy formation. Many will go back to a life in politics. All of them, without exception, will be making a difference and hopefully will be making the world a better place. Because of our exceptionally talented staff who undertake such research and teaching, and because of our exceptionally talented students, we are one of the most successful universities in the UK, recognized for the breadth and depth and international reach and rigor and significance of our social science research. As Professor Taka just uh, mentioned, the school has made a key contribution to making Manchester the most successful uh, university in the world, according to the, higher, to the Times Higher Education, based on the UN Sustainable Development Goals Framework. Social Sciences in Manchester is now placed within the top 30 schools in the world and one of the leading schools in the UK. You should all be extremely confident in your own abilities and skills, no matter which disciplinary background in the social sciences you have. We are extremely proud of you and hope that you will take away fond memories of your time here in Manchester, both socially and hopefully academically too. Especially as graduates of the social sciences, reflect on the richness of your experiences in this uh, school and what, has now, what is now available to you. Grasp the opportunities that your uh, uh, education here in Manchester has provided you. Go on to make a positive change that our world needs. My colleagues and I will all be looking at you fondly and very, very proudly. So, once again, congratulations to all of you. I will now invite my colleague, Professor Joram Grolinski, to invite the graduates to be presented. Vice President, on behalf of the Senate of the University, I present to you um, for the degree of postgraduate research degrees, Anna Borlasch. <laughs> Andrew Barclay. <laughs> Elena Borisova. Christopher Butler. <laughs> Vlad Shula Costa. <laughs> Georgia Cheralambidu. <laughs> Lee.
Alejandro Espinosa. Patrick Gould. Joanna Nascimento. Anna Saunders. David Noah Walker Crawford. And for the Postgraduate Taught Awards, Shaquille Ahmed. <laughs> Leslie Robert Allah. <laughs> Said Ali. <laughs> Natasha Lee Barkley. Janelle Marie Brannan. Mercedes Diane Broad. Virginia Chepper. Ji Chao Chen. Michelle Chin. Jen Chung. <laughs> Jessica Kulmain. <laughs> Molly Danks. <laughs> Kira Dyer. Constance Isles. <laughs> Suzanne Foreman. <laughs> Eleanor Catherine Mary Heathcote. <laughs> Benjamin Humphrey. <laughs> Peter Hutchin. Christo Thomas Jacob. Erin Adrienne Jagger. Laura Jibara Liguri Arirek. Ping Jiao. Sam Thomas Knight. <laughs> Romina Selena Lopez Gaston. <laughs> Anna Maria Kernker. Jack James William Mason. Charlie John McKenna. Grace Alexandra Nisham. Jack Neely. John Edward Payne. Astrid Gloria Pepita. Hannah Lina Peruala. Olivia Honey Love Pollington. Florence Lily Porter. <laughs> Heather Jane Radcliffe. <laughs> Ro 
Richard Reed. James Risk. Jake Benjamin Runacres. Isabel Ann Scott. Lucas Scott Harston. Anurag Sharma. Sarah Elizabeth Sharp. Samuel Stone. Agatha van der Zanden. <laughs> Anne Wisdom. <laughs> Rachel Emily Winus. <laughs> UAU. And for the Undergraduate Awards, Sheriff Adekola. <laughs> Harry James Aldridge. <laughs> Catherine Dorota Atkinson. <laughs> Susanna Aluaseon Ayantunda. Thomas Bear, <laughs> Cherry Ann Beagles, <laughs> Joseph Beaumont, <laughs> Rishi Bat, Aina Syaria Binti Ahmed Sukri. <laughs> Inish Boivin. <laughs> Finley Brown. <laughs> and for the Postgraduate Tort Award, Nora Chaba. And for the Undergraduate Awards, Clotilde Marie-Francoise Colette Charles. <laughs> Amy Rin Chow. <laughs> Lisa Chen. Jonathan Chung Han Chung. <laughs> Shin Lun Chang. <laughs> Paul Cyprian Chiras. <laughs> Alishba Chohan. Lucille Elizabeth Marie Corby. <laughs> Maria Cartijo Rojo. <laughs> Reese Davis. <laughs> Parik Delahunt. Kieran Donnelly. <laughs> Roxanne Dougal. <laughs> Ms.
Anastasia Fedorchuk. Eyad Omar Freitas. Roxana Adelina Fugina. Andrea Gaudi. Alexander Gowing. And for the, and for the postgraduate to taught award, Robert Green. And for the undergraduate awards, Joseph Gary Gregory. Thomas Griffin. <laughs> Elena Simeonova Gwincheva. <laughs> Thomas Guile. <laughs> Elena Mary Hamley. Harry Henson. <laughs> Ella Hodges. <laughs> Shi Chun Hu. <laughs> Bethany Hume. <laughs> Claire Rebecca Irwin. Ruth Jackson. And Arada Jalan. Lydia Kate Uriance. Humaira Kara. Thomas Robert Kennedy. Emma King. <laughs> Louise Alexandra Quito. <laughs> Billy Lawrence. <laughs> Kriakos Leonido. Zichi Lee. <laughs> Yue Lee. <laughs> Dennis Liao. <laughs> Feng Ling. <laughs> Molly Lockett. Thomas Lyons. <laughs> Ho Wai Ma. <laughs> Norbert Magos. <laughs> Aisha Mahmoud. Denisa Stefania Mandra. <laughs> Harry Finn Marples. <laughs> Shane McBrien. <laughs> Georgia McGrory. Roberta Miglioranza. <laughs> Bethany Murphy. <laughs> oh, 
Amir Adam bin Maud Jamaluddin. <laughs> Olivia Morgan. <laughs> Mia Nath. <laughs> Lauren Neary. Christian Nogard. <laughs> Ching Yi Ing. <laughs> Sean Wei Shuan Ngil. <laughs> Martina Elena Nitti. Julian Nguyen. <laughs> Alubisola Asundina. <laughs> Cosmas Pifanes. <laughs> Chrysostomos Petru. Adrián Dario Pilco Escobar. <laughs> Constantinos Policarpo. <laughs> Opeyemi Rapula. <laughs> and for the, po for the Postgraduate Tort Award, Anna Yulia Parum. <laughs> Paula Ramos Garcia. <laughs> and for the undergraduate awards, Tian Chin. <laughs> Wai Chi Pu. Liberty Reeves. <laughs> Maisie Olivia Robinson. <laughs> and for the Postgraduate Tort Awards, Lucy Ashling Ross. <laughs> and for the Undergraduate Awards, Alina Saeed. Tia Senatore. <laughs> Connor Lee Smith. <laughs> Alexandra Spatar. <laughs> Sophia Spencer Salomao Isidoro. Imogen Stevenson. John Story. Emily Sudbury. Cherin Sur. Maximilian Swan. Adam Tamimi. Pauline Tan. Taylor J. Tapley. Xiao Ming Liam Tai. <laughs> Tenku Iliana Siazwin Tenku Zuber. <laughs> Ed
Amy Lewis Thompson, Louise Thompson. James Robert Thompson. Chi Lai Tsang. Richard Turner. Gregory Turner. Miriam Hendrika van Tutum. Jose Vinaija Kinea. George Frederick Wade. Harry Jonathan David Walker. Elizabeth Ray Margaret Waller. Isabella Walls. Catherine Walters. Yi Hong Wong. Harry James Welsman. Alex Westwood. Evelyn White. Shi Shu. Thomas Yates. Shea Ru Yu. <laughs> you waiting, you. <laughs> Jasper Omar Zatman. <laughs> Ruechi Jong. Yi Heng Jong. <laughs> Denitsa Jeliaskova. <laughs> Ling Yan Zhou. Ying Ju Hazika Ahmed <laughs> Gabriella Hartfield. Ellis Harbord. <laughs> In now, graduates of this great university, graduates, please stand up. Graduates, please stand up. Could you please join me in congratulating them?
remain standing, graduates, because there's one group of people we haven't acknowledged today, and that's the academic and professional services staff that have played such an important part in your lives at the university. Will you join me in thanking them? Congratulations from all of us again. We wish you every success and happiness in your future lives and careers. All that remains for me to do is wish you a wonderful day uh, of celebrations and a safe journey home. I declare the ceremony closed. Please be standing.